All right, fam, this is where we go final level with combinators. Now check out this power move. So here we've got this combinator here. So it's an unordered list and then a, you can see this greater than than list item of class of special. So this only direct list item children with the class of special gets this styling. Uh, if we can see this right here. So if we look at the H, we can see here, unordered list with a list item with a class of special, that is what is getting styled. And you can see that the second list item just stays as it is and doesn't get styled. Now here, this is quite complicated. So you can see the class of nav. Yeah, then you can see it uses a child combinator, descendant combinator with a space with a list item, another child combinator, a anchor tag on hover, and then a subsequent with a tilde, and then drop that. It's, it's quite complicated to be fair. But essentially we can see here that with the class of drop is this up here on hover. And if you can see on the on the anchor on hover, the class of drop button appears. So you can see that that is working there. Now this is just some styling for the for the drop down. Now lastly, we can see here, so you can get really, really specific with it. So you can see the class of sidebar with the nav menu, list item first child, and then the next list item. So direct child nav menu in sidebar, and then the first list items next sibling. Let me break it down. So you can mix class selectors with combinators, stack different combinators together, add attribute selectors into the mix, and you can throw in pseudo classes like hover if you want to get fancy. So, so we can see as we've done here. But quick word of advice, don't get too wild with long selectors. The longer they get, the harder they are to override. And sometimes adding a simple class is easier than stacking every combinator under the sun.